Alright, so in today's video we're gonna talk about how to prevent and trace x-ray. One of the most annoying Minecraft mods that's basically illegal in every single Minecraft server and still tons of people are using it. So x-ray is basically a Minecraft mod that allows you to see only the blocks you're looking for. So let's say you're looking for diamonds or emeralds or another very rare material on the ground, then you can make it so that every other block in the world will be invisible except for that particular block. That way you can basically cheat Minecraft. Well, at the end of this video you will exactly know what to do to prevent x-ray on your Minecraft server. So stay tuned. But before we start, of course, it will mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you're subscribed to this channel. Most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though it only takes a second of your day, you would really help me and the channel out and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So the most annoying thing about X-Ray is that it actually isn't illegal. It's not something like a hack client. X-Ray is actually just a Minecraft mod or a texture pack. Basically every single mod or texture pack that lets the world disappear, that only lets you see the ores and blocks that you're looking for, that's basically X-Ray. So you can join a brand new Minecraft server, activate X-Ray and you can just go straight to the diamonds. Now of course in a fair SMP server you don't want that. So let's go over how you can prevent it. So if you're in the Minecraft Java Edition server, you will be able to put yourself to spectator mode. Just type game mode, spectator, like that, and you will go to spectator mode. If you're in spectator mode, you can fly through the ground, just like this. And the handy thing about that is that you can see caves. You can see where every single cave is. But the thing I want to show you is that it's very, very easy to trace x-ray. All right, I turned my shaders off and I gave myself night vision. Now what you see over here is just a normal way of mining. Now if you will go in the ground to mine four ores, what would you do? Well, you have not a single clue where any ore or whatsoever is in the ground. So you would just see this. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna very randomly mine everywhere or are you just gonna mine straight? Well, obviously, if you don't know where anything is, you're just gonna mine straight. You're gonna mine straight and eventually, after a while, you can think like, okay, let's go to the right here because why not? That's normal. What is very weird though is if people keep mining in very random directions. And this is one of the best examples of x-ray. Who the freak mines like this? You can see that this person specifically mines to places where they found ores. So you can see that there was a vein over here. I mean four blocks together like this. That's an iron or a diamond vein. Well this person specifically knew that he needed to go into this direction to get it. Then he stopped. He immediately stopped. He didn't mine further or something like that. No he stopped. He went back and he went the other way. Then he went straight down because, of course, here was another vein. Then if you go a little bit further, here was another vein. And you don't just have to guess. There are plugins like Core Protect that can exactly show you what block was here. So to get Core Protect working on your Minecraft server, the only thing you have to do is drag it into your plugins folder, restart your server, and after that it will track all block data. So what that means is if I remove this block, so I remove it, and then I place it again. Now Core Protect has basically registered that data. So by typing slash co inspect, you will go into inspector mode. And by clicking on this block, you will now be able to see the block history. So about a minute ago, I broke a grass block and then just a few seconds later, I placed it again. You can see the exact coordinates of the block. It is very, very handy. So you can check if places like this, which looks a lot like an empty vein, actually contained ores once. So if you're seeing an x-ray pattern like this you can basically confirm if it is actually an x-ray pattern with core protect and you can also check who did it so by doing slash co protect then getting a block inside of your hand and then going to the mine that you suspect to be a mine from an x-rayer you can just right click the block so that you would actually place it if you have co protect enabled you won't actually place it and it will give you information on who removed that block look and this is the second method anti x-ray so this guy is probably x-raying i'm pretty sure and it's perfect that this is happening right now because we're just gonna check it out he just knew i was gonna make this video let's go to game mode spectator okay oh i completed the challenge and he doesn't even care he's still continuing on look at this 
It's a perfect x-ray pattern. Then he went in here. You you will you can immediately see that it's x-raying. And you can also see it from the chat. Because this is a plugin. I will explain how it works later. But this plugin will basically collect data on what people are mining. And this guy mined 5 Asian debris in 30 seconds. 3 times over. That's just not humanly possible. And he got another Asian debris. Wow, how great is that? So he already got 50 Asian debris. Yeah, of course that's possible. We're gonna... Take his Asian debris. There we go. It magically disappeared. <laughs> oh, he's still continuing on. <laughs> he just mined up. Because he saw the Asian debris there, he just mined straight up. <laughs> There's no way you could have known that it was there. Dude, why are you ruining it for yourself? Where did my stack... Wow. He's just open about it. Well, he's just gonna collect more. I think we had enough. And there he goes. So more about this plugin. Anti-X-Ray. Anti-X-Ray is a very simple and very efficient plugin that you can install on your Minecraft server that basically gives you a notification when somebody is being suspicious. Now what do I mean with being suspicious? Well, you could already see it here. If somebody is mining an absurd amount of ores or debris or whatsoever in a certain time frame, it will give you a notification. Now with anti-extra you can also do things like automatic banning. Now I just wouldn't recommend that because most of the times it just doesn't work that well. Though I would recommend using it for this feature. The feature that it gives a notification as soon as somebody mines a particular amount of blocks in a particular time frame. Now of course it is always possible that somebody mines a particular amount of blocks in a very small amount of time just because they are very very lucky. It can always happen. That's one of the reasons why I don't wanted to automatically ban people because sometimes you just can get very lucky and especially with vein miner in the server which is a plugin that we have that allows you to mine a whole vein at once basically allowing you to gather many ores in a very small amount of time i've disabled the auto banning feature but when you get a notification like this you can at least check it out. Now the link to this plugin will of course be in the description of this video and basically the only thing you have to do after installing it is type slash a x r as in anti-x-ray and then you will get this very handy anti-x-ray menu. Now in this menu you have to tap offline alerts or counter alert settings and enabled worlds. Now you need to go to this first one if you want to enable offline alerts. So let's say somebody exceeds the maximum amount that they can mine in a specific time frame. While you are offline, then you will actually get a notification as soon as you come online again and you can see if the person was actually x-raying or not. The ore counter basically gathers data about the amount of ores that somebody has mined. So if somebody has mined 1000 diamonds but only like 10 iron, then you know, Something is probably going on. Then the next one, alert settings, is where we just got the notification from. So in the alert settings, you can set a specific amount of blocks and how many of those blocks they can actually mine in a specific amount of time before a notification will be sent. Now, enabled worlds, really easy. You can just add Minecraft worlds here. So in Soracraft, it's actually enabled in every single world. The overworld, nether, and end. If you want to disable it inside of the nether, for example, because for some reason you don't care about the nether, then you can add or remove it from this list. And that's anti-x-ray. A very, very good plugin. You can see that it's good because in this video we actually caught an x-rayer. We actually caught somebody that was using hacks. So yeah, it's a good plugin. It works. <laughs> it actually works. Now, of course, there are many more methods out there and some might fit you better than others. But these are the ones I have lots of trust in. Now, like I said before, there are other plugins out there that I haven't covered in this video. For example, there is a plugin that makes it so that on the server you can only actually mine a specific amount of blocks. So the plugin I covered here in this video makes it so that if you mine more than a specific amount, it will give a notification. With the plugin I'm talking about, you actually can't physically mine more blocks. It will just tell you, you mine too many blocks, you can now not mine this anymore for a certain amount of time. Now, the reason I didn't cover it in this video is because it just doesn't prevent x-ray. It just makes it so that x-ray is kind of useless. Because if you're x-raying, you will basically always hit a boundary. But let's say you're just very lucky in normal Minecraft survival, and then all of a sudden you get a message like, no, you can't mine this anymore, you will have to wait. I don't think that's preventing anything. That's just annoying. This is what I think the best method to prevent 
x-ray without ruining the Minecraft survival experience for people who are actually playing legitimately. Anyways guys, that's gonna be all for now. I really really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet and you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that, you actually would. And then, it's all for now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.